Hello, this is Python in Excel, part 20. I don't know what part it is, but anyway, I've got something really cool to show you today. It's an add-in that is gonna fix a lot of your grief. First of all, I'm in this spreadsheet. I've got three Python cells in B1, in B3, and in I3. And in I3, the code is garbage. I've got blank lines where I don't need blank lines. I've got spaces after parentheses and spaces before parentheses. I've got misaligned indentation. This would not fly in a real code editor. For some reason it works in the formula bar. It's kind of good, but it's also kind of bad. So let's see what we can do to fix it. As I said, there is this add-in. I took it off so that I could show you how to install it. You go to the Home tab. You go to the Add-ins button. You click get add-ins. You go to the store and in the search bar, you type Excel Labs and search. Here's Excel Labs. You click add and continue as if by magic it appears on the home tab. Let's make it a bit bigger so we can see it. You got the advanced formula environment. If you're not using that yet, you should be. That's the great way to develop Lambda functions. I don't use this so much, but that's pretty cool as well. But here is the new thing. This is the Python editor. Let's open it and see what it does. To begin with, I've got a box here for each of my Python cells. It has loaded all my Python cells. I've got one in B1. I can jump to it. I can jump to B3 and I can jump to I3. In each cell, there is a description of what data is being output by that cell. This particular cell, I've got it set to Python object, but it could be convert to Excel values. When it's Python object, I see the value of the cell, which is the data frame. I see a preview of the string representation of the object. Not very useful when that's a data frame. It can get kind of complex. And it shows me the object type. In this case, it's a data frame and a preview of the data frame, even though it's not visible in the spreadsheet. So that's pretty cool. In B3, I've got something similar. It's an output as a data frame. A few more steps. Don't worry too much about the code. If you want to know what that does, view my previous video. And then in I3, I've got this garbage code and we are going to fix it. All right, so I've made this a bit bigger. I've given myself some more space. First thing we're going to do is get rid of these horrible spaces after the parens and before the parens. To do that, we can use Control H. That will do find and replace. I can press Alt R. That will highlight this, which is use regular expression. And then in here, I am going to use this magical regular expression that ChatGPT gave me earlier. And what that does is it finds the spaces that are either following or preceding parentheses. And then I can click this button here, which also I can do with Control Alt Enter and get rid of them. And it's cleaned it up in one step. Pretty cool, huh? Next thing to do is to get rid of these blank lines. If I select one of them and press Alt, I can select another one and press Control X to delete them both at the same time. See these lines here? That's multi-select. If I press Escape, I can get out of that. Let's do some more multi-select. This is not aligned with that. So let's Alt, click, press Space. It will put a space in front of both lines. Pretty cool. Now let's do it another way. We can press Control, Alt, and Up to select multiple lines at once and push them all in line with the DF at the top. We've got some mess over here. Here I can do shift tab as you would normally in Excel, or you can also do control open bracket to move it left. I can move it left again and then maybe align it with the one below. Control alt and down, press space, and that's nicely aligned. Now I just press Control Enter and I'm finished editing. That is so much easier than doing it in the formula bar. You don't even know. There are tons more keyboard shortcuts. I am not going to bore you with all of the detail, but I am going to provide you with a PDF so that you can remember them. Stick it on your wall, make a birthday card out of it, do what you want. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.